I was going to videotape how to bottle, so I'm halfway through this process and I'll show you what I'm doing. I took my fermenter full of um, a stout and I sanitized this pitcher really good, dumped it in there, dumped it in there, and then I took a little bit of water with some brown sugar. I used a priming calculator, um, which told me to use 0.76 ounces of brown sugar. You mix it with a little water. You make sure everything's like cooled down a little bit. And then you dump the water into your beer and stir it up with a sanitized spoon. And then just make sure everything's cooled down because after you boil the water and the sugar, you don't want to kill the yeast that's in there. So you want to cool it down a little bit, which takes like two seconds. It's only like a quarter inch of water just to dissolve the sugar. So you pour it in this pitcher that's been sanitized. I sanitized my caps. I got a little capper right there. Put sanitizer in your bottles. Rinse them out. Sanitize them real good. I usually rinse them out after I'm done drinking. That way I don't have to clean them again. So I just rinse them and then put sanitize in them, as you can see. And then, once you got your pitcher there with your beer and your carbonation sugar in it, uh, let me see if I can prop up my phone. You just go. I don't know if I'll be able to prop this up. Oh, here we go. Let's do it like this. What's up, Eric? Hold on, let me fast up. Just be real careful. Okay, you want to wear those jeans and that shirt? Yeah. Alright, take off your pants so you can put those ones on. You fill it up real careful. Just so there's like an inch left. When you have a bigger batch, there's equipment you can use, like a siphon that makes it a lot easier. Out of the, You can do it right out of the carboys. Transfer it to a... Uh, container to bottle it in. <laughs> okay, Eric. What? All right. Okay. So there's about an inch left in there. Just take a sanitized cap. Put it on there. Cap it. Wait about a week and it should be carbonated. First out like this, I'm gonna let it sit till Christmas. That way it's actually a bourbon oak chip stout. So I'm gonna let it sit there until Christmas, let the flavors mellow together. And it's an Imperial. So the higher the alcohol, the longer you can let it sit. And the flavors will mellow out as you let it sit. The IPAs you kind of want to drink like after two weeks, a week or two of Carbonating because the hops will start to uh, go away and you'll lose bitterness and brightness in your hops Before these big beers you want to let them sit longer let the flavors um, the malts and the alcohol and the bourbon and the oak all mesh together I might actually get Seven beers out of this That's all you do. Just make sure you sanitize everything. Sanitation is super important right now. You don't really want to leave this open like I'm leaving it for too long because bacteria can get inside it. But after a while you kind of know how long's too long. And if I let it sit out here all day, some bacteria would get in it. But the alcohol content in this is... Actually, I should check the alcohol content. The alcohol content in this should be pretty high. So it'll kill off most of the small bacteria that will be in there. Since I have a lot, I can afford to lose some. 
my original gravity on this was 1060 roughly. And there's a formula you can use. Dang, that's not a lot of sanitizer in the bottle. There's a formula you can use to figure out your... Oh, like that, you gotta be careful doing that. <laughs> Eric really wants to go outside since it's like 70 degrees out. Feels like summer and it's November. Alright, that's good enough. I see that. Figures every time you want to make a video, your uh, kid all of a sudden wants to uh, hang all over you and have you help him to go outside, right? What are you doing? What is that? Like a circle? Yeah. Alright, I'll show you how I read. You can uh, buy one of these little refractometers. They're super cheap. Can I go outside now? Yeah, let me fill this up one more time. They're made out of glass, so you gotta be really careful with them. They have like a mercury or something in the bottle. I think it's mercury or just a weight, I don't know. But they measure the how much sugar is in your beer. And when you take a reading from the beginning, you subtract it from the end, and that's how you can tell. If I sanitize this, I could have thrown it back in, but I don't have any sanitizer ready right now. That's sitting on the bottom. And it'll tell you how much sugar your yeast ate, and that's how you can tell how much sugar is in your beer. And then, based on that, is how you can there's some of the bubbles out of there. Look at me. You don't want it touching the sides. So I got ten. Wow. Tiger. So I got 1018. What? Did I said I got 1018. So there's a formula. I think it, I can't remember. It's um. Your original gravity minus your final gravity <laughs> multiplied by 0. 0.75 multiplied by 100 will give you your alcohol content. I think that's the formula. I have it saved on my phone. And I'm guessing this will probably be around 6%. 6, 7%. Six, so my original gravity was 1060. My final gravity was 1018. So I'll do that formula after this video, see what it is. <clears throat> that's about it. I gotta find one more bottle to put this in. That's how you bottle. Super easy. Dad, are you all done? <clears throat> yep. Oh. Can we go outside now? Yes, you can.